After just two years of managing in the Portuguese Superliga, Villas Boas has swapped the historical and picturesque town of Porto for the chic of SW6. And who better to get the inside track on our new man than a Portuguese journalist who's followed Villas Boas' rise to stardom since he took over at Academica. At first, when I saw him come from Academica, I didn't know that much about him. Uh, after he came to Porto, then everyone started, you know, there was a lot of buzz around the media and uh, we could say that André Villas-Boas is very charismatic. He's very thorough in his investigation skills, you know, he, he's very, he has his own method. Uh, a lot of that came from Bobby Robson and José Mourinho later on and that makes a lot of sense because people make a lot of comparisons to Bobby and especially to José being Portuguese, making the same sort of track as well until coming to Chelsea. So. You know, to be honest, I think that Andres Luzuz has it all to, to be very successful here at Chelsea. Um, people question his age and is he ready, ready to deal with the pressure or not. But I think he, with time uh, he'll get those answers straightened out. He came here in a very big setting with uh, hundreds of journalists gathered um, and he, he created a very good impression, certainly. Um, how did you think this uh, first press conference for him went today? Well, he's very composed and he's very straightforward. Uh, he's also very nice, tries to be very polite to everyone. I think that most people were very impressed and even before when people had access to his first interview for Chelsea TV as well, uh, most people had a very good reaction from his part. And just finally, was there one particular line in that press conference that you thought that's a big story, that's an unusual answer, anything that surprised you particularly? Well, to be honest, from a Portuguese perspective, I was hoping to hear a little bit more of the Portuguese players. I thought maybe he would bring Falcão, he would mention Hook as well because they're the two of the main players in, in Portugal. Uh, they also mentioned Quentrão from Benfica. So that was sort of the things that I was really curious on, knowing a little bit more. But obviously he's tried to avoid that subject uh, due to Chelsea policy maybe. Um, I, I know there's a lot of comparisons as well with Alex Ferguson coming here to sort of dethrone Sir Alex from uh, all the success he has been with. Uh, Man United, uh, that's a sort of a thing that gets me going as well because I'm very interested on in knowing how that conflict's going to be with Sir Alex. Because Jose Mourinho obviously did have uh, a few conflicts in the beginning. Uh, there was a lot of attention by the media as well. And I don't know if that will happen the same with uh, André Villas-Boas, but I'm certainly you know, looking forward to seeing that duel between both of them. Well, this time next week, the players will be well and truly into pre-season as they begin their preparations for the next campaign. And